What's good my handsome, it's your QBK here. Without wasting too much time on the intro, let's get straight into what this video is about. Within the time I play Black Ops 4, Alcatraz particularly, a lot of people ask me how to do this beatdown trick. It's usually people that come from Rebirth Island or Warzone or external parts of the game. This is specific to the Winter's Fury in this case, however you can also do it in other weapons. This is a, like, I'll show a clip of it right now. So what this basically is, is a YY technique that works really well on the Winter's Fury and I'll explain how this works right now very quickly. Let's say I wanted to shoot out some bullets at the Winter's Fury and then reload it. The normal reload is something like this, but to do a trick, you can double tap your triangle button, do something like that very quickly, and what this will do is it will shorten the reload by about double. Now you can do this with other guns, such as the Mosu, which I'll showcase later on. And basically every gun can do this. There are some guns like the Ray Gun like here, which aren't very good at this. And I'll explain how to work out if they're good or not. Now the reason this technique actually works is because the reload animation of your weapon is not directly linked to when the ammo comes into your weapon. There is different guns which behave differently in this way. So for example, this Ray Gun has a very tight reload animation where the weapon's bullets will actually come in just before the ending of the animation and because it's so high it means you can't really do a YY trick on this because either way the, the it just doesn't save too much time however the Winter Fury for example has a very wide animation this is exploitable in Blackout particularly because it's PvP rather than zombies and because it's so wide the animation of the reload will take much longer than the actual than is necessary for the bullets to enter. That's why you can get away with doing this bullshit like so. Whenever you want to do a trick like this with a gun, all you want to do is look at the ammo consumption that it has, the ammo in the magazine, and see when it changes to 9. As you can see, it changes to 9 or it could be full in this case very quickly. Once you do that, just press double tap the double tap the triangle. If you're doing this without back button, so I have a triangle on the back button here. You can also use claw, and with claw it would look something like, like that. Now, obviously you wanna use claw like this instead of like that, uh, but experiment with it how you will. Obviously I'm on zombies right now because, uh, you know, you can't really explain this too well in a blackout, but that's basically it. So if anyone asks about this again, just send them this video, and this will explain how to do it. So you can do this quite well. Again, reload, reload cancel with the double tap triangle. On Xbox, obviously it's YY. So if anyone asks about this, just send them the video and tell them, oh yeah, here, here's a tutorial on how to do this shit. I'll go over how it works on other guns as well. Uh, again, make sure that you understand what it works with, so don't try it on ray guns. For example, the grab with fast mags too doesn't work so well. Any gun, particularly with fast mags, it's not a very good thing to do this with. But I'm going to show you guys some other cool things about this technique that you might have not known. Let's get into that right now. Okay, so we're back over here on Blackout Big Map. We're going custom games right now because I need to find a mozi for you guys. I'm going to show you guys the coolest thing you can do with this. Most people know this gun is quite garbage because of how slowly it reloads and overall it's kind of a shit gun. You don't really want to be doing this mid gunfight. And even with fast mags, it's quite slow. It's reasonably okay, but it's not that amazing. What people don't realize is this is one of the most OP guns in the game if you know how to use it properly with the technique. The same technique that works on the Winter's Fury works on this gun as well. Now this doesn't work too well in multiplayer, however on Blackout the fast mags actually work differently than there because it's not speed loader, it's fast mags. And what you can do with this is literally go bang bang bang, reload, instantly reload like this. And you can do this really really fast. You can chamber in reloads in base i think this is the fastest reload animation in the whole entire game just from doing this and i'm not actually doing it perfectly as you can see you can basically reload in nanoseconds it's insane so that's just a cool tip you can do obviously you can do this with basically every gun there's a few things you want to notice however so let's say i wanted to use a gun and then out all of the bullets. If you shoot out all of the bullets of a gun, there's actually an extra animation with a chamber, and you'll see the cock back. There'll be like two clicks. Because of that, the timing of the YY will actually change. With this strategy, the best thing I can recommend you guys do, if you don't want to watch out for the numbers changing in your bottom right of the screen, all you really have to worry about is whenever you reload and you hear the second click, you tap your, uh, your triangle triangle. And that usually works for every single weapon. There's very few weapons which don't have that sort of mechanic. So once you hear the two clicks, that's how you know uh, you can do your triangle triangle method. 
if you're doing this with fast mags on certain weapons, let's say I had this switchblade right here and I did it with fast mags, overall whenever you try and do this with fast mags it's not that big of a deal because the magazine already reloads so fast that you're not going to be saving too much time with your YY. It's still usable, definitely 100%. Uh, but you're not going to be buying yourself as much time as if you have no fast mag. So if you're using an extender, for example, with this, uh, or just bare, like so, it's actually a much more powerful technique to use and it's much more important. If you have back buttons, obviously it's easier. As I mentioned before, if you want to do this without back buttons, I would recommend claw like this. There's Jacob after editing coming in here with something I thought I should mention as well in the video. What you will see some people doing gameplays as they're just roaming around is you'll see them doing YYs just like randomly as they slide for example something like this or whatever. Just to mention, because some people might take this in a wrong interpretation, this is actually useful, useless, sorry, it doesn't do anything particularly. In BO3 there is a mechanic where this will allow you to negate slide fatigue, however Black Ops 4 has no benefit in doing YYs other than reloading. So make sure you don't, if you don't want to do these as you're running around, that's no problem. Most people do them if they're pros or they're good at the game just because it looks nice. Just for cosmetic reasons. That's basically all for the video. If you did learn something new, like this sexy Mosey meta that you can use in Blackout sometimes, uh, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see some more shit that's cool in the game, make sure you tell me. I can make videos on whatever. I'll keep on making them for the glory of Black Ops 4. But for now, be like a little cat, and I'll see you in the next one.